Here we have an ash. It's also used in making furniture. Here's the leaf up close. It is compound, as you can see. The vein structure is pinnate with a smooth margin. Here we have a black walnut tree. Its wood is used in making of gun stalks. And also the fruit is used in candy making. It's a black walnut leaf. It is a compound leaf with opposite arrangement. The vein structure is pinnate and it's slightly serrated. This tree here is a box elder. It was used by the Native Americans, the cambium was, to make food. This is the box elder leaf up close. It is compound and comes in threes or fives. And it is a pinnate vein structure. And you see up close, the margin is toothed. This is a crab apple tree. <clears throat> the fruit from the crab apple tree is used in many different foods. Here is the crab apple tree's leaf. As you can see, it is a simple leaf. The veins on this leaf are pinnate and the margin is slightly serrated. Here's the dogwood tree. It is used for landscaping. And here's a closer look at the leaf with Tony. Alright, the dogwood leaf, as you can see, has uh, pinnate veins. The margin is smooth and the leaf structure is simple. This is the red maple tree. It's used to make maple syrup. And here's a closer look at the leaf. This is the red maple leaf. As you can see, it is a simple leaf. It has red petiole. It is lobed to three distinct points, and the veins on this leaf are palmate. Here we have the redbud tree, and it is also used in landscaping. Here's a closer look at the leaf, which is heart-shaped. The vein structure is palmate. This is a simple leaf, and then it has a smooth margin. Here's the sumac. It is not very developed, but the red berries from the sumac can be used for cooking. And, however, the white berries are poisonous. The leaf structure is compound and it is pinnate and there is a serration. The sumac leaf are they are compound. They are feather like pinnate and there is an opposite arrangement and slightly serrated. Here you see the sweet gum. Native Americans used it the resin in the sweet gum to make chewing gum. Here is the sweet gum leaf. It is star shaped and lobed to five distinct points. The vein structure is palmate and also the sweet gum leaf is serrated. Here we have the tulip poplar and it was used by Native Americans to make canoes out of and we're going to take a closer look at the individual leaf and here's the leaf of the tulip poplar as you can see the vein structure is pinnate and the margin is lobed to four distinct points it's smooth around the edges and this is a simple leaf here we have the Virginia pine, also known as the yellow pine. It is used for pulp wood, and the leaf structure is similar to the white pine, being that 
it is composed of needles instead of normal leaves only it is compound with two leaves rather than five and here we have the white pine they are grown extensively in the Christmas tree season and now we're going to take a closer look at the pine needles this is the white pine leaf um, it is a compound leaf because there it is in clusters of five making it compound it's not like normal leaves it has needles which the needles are modified leaves to reduce transpiration here we have an apple tree golden delicious apple tree and the fruit is used for food here we have the leaf it is pinnate it's a simple leaf and the margin is slightly serrated this is a beech tree and the leaves are used in the brewing of Budweiser beer here's the leaf up close it's slightly serrated the vein structure is pinnate and it's a simple leaf here we have a black gum and its fruit the, pr the fruit it produces is used to feed wildlife. Here's the leaf up close. It's simple. The vein structure is pinnate and it has a smooth margin. Here we have a hickory tree. Its wood is used to add flavor to barbecue. Here's the leaf up close. It is compound with five different leaves. The vein structure is pinnate and it's slightly serrated. This smaller tree behind Tony is the mulberry. The fruit from this tree is used in wines, pies, and tarts. This is the mulberry leaf. As you can see, it is compound. You have the mitten leaf, you have the triple leaf, and then you have the spade leaf. And if you flip it over, as you can see, the veins on these leaves, all of them are palmate. The, mar the margin on the mulberry tree is toothed. Here we have a pear tree, as you can see, and of course, the pear tree, its fruit are used as food. Pear leaf, its vein structure is pinnate. It is a simple leaf and it is, its margin is slightly serrated. Here's a red oak. It is, the wood is used in furniture making. Here's the red oak's leaves up close. It is compound with five leaves. The vein structure is pinnate and it is toothed. Here we have a white oak. Here's the white oak's leaf up close. The vein structure is pinnate. It's a simple leaf and it's lobed to several points. It's all, it, um, the white oaks were used in shipbuilding because it was very strong wood in the 18th century.